The RV is gone. No, what did we like about this rig? No, what's wrong with this rig? <laughs> Not the bad words. No freaking way. Wish she like something else. Okay. I got kicked out of the bedroom. <laughs> this island is a rockin'. Don't come a knockin'. We're having to lose a thousand pounds. Larry finally got me in the shower together. They absolutely suck. I'm gonna miss my storage. Sleeping in there, you know what I mean? That's it. Sleeping. <laughs> one more time in the solitude. No! Come on. Got a couple more days before they tow away the old solitude. I came in today just to kind of give it a look around. And Alice came in here yesterday and cleaned it up. It looks awesome. I'm, I really am gonna miss the solitude. I've been cleaning for days actually, but um, I did put some pictures on our community tab and some people were like, hey, that looks pretty nice. That looks damn good. What the hell are you giving that up for, you idiots? Like, you know, there's ways to take pictures where it looks nice, you know. But um, thanks, guys, for following all this uh, long journey we've been on. But if you just found us, I'm Alice. And I'm Larry. And we are Downsizing Makes Sense Like the Penny. And we were traveling full time for four years. Until, until four months ago. Until our RV broke. So um, just go back a couple of videos to find out what happened. Because we're going to be back on the road again soon with the new rig. Yeah. So let's go back to what's wrong with this rig. No, what did we like about this rig? No, what's wrong with this rig? <laughs> we're going to start with some of the things that we really like. One, to me, better it or not, I'm really realizing the reflection is lacking storage. And these huge cabinets up here used to store a lot of stuff. But you couldn't store anything heavy. Because it collapsed at some point. In the middle section. I am going to miss my magnet board. Yes, that's right. You, we, we don't really have a place for the magnet boards yet. I'll and they're heavy. I'll figure it out. Yeah, okay, gotcha. This is magnet stickers and pins. This does not leave the RV. There's 16 pounds. The windows, lots of windows, but our new rig has bigger windows and all the windows open. The big difference is that the amount of breeze mm -hmm. that we get in the new it's rig hot in here. is awesome. And then these windows just don't go nearly as low in the solitude. I don't know why they do that. It's so crazy. But I used to complain about these blinds, but these still work great. And so are four years old and they work awesome. Ours are three weeks old in the reflection. They're already failing. Larry loves his nap couch. He's got his nap couch. And this is a longer nap couch yes. than their other couch. But our new couch, we just emptied it out, took pieces out of it, and we're gonna have storage behind it. But you know what else I like about the reflection? Are the end tables in the reflection. There's actual cabinet storage in there, which we didn't have in here. Which is why my nap couch is shorter, because those little end tables are bigger. This is all empty. There, there was no reason why they couldn't put a cabinet here. Yeah, wasted space. Wasted space. Yeah, and this pull-out couch, we never pulled out. I, I mean, I think one person slept on it in four years. Yep. And that was me because I got kicked out of the bedroom. <laughs> so next is this um, entertainment center. In the televator. Televator. Do you like the televator? Who likes the televator? I'm going to miss the televator because um, when... But we hardly ever put it down. But when we put it down, at least you had a window back here. And with the new TV, the way it locks in place, the first TV broke. And there's like empty storage. Like there's a... a yeah, they completely yeah. wasted the space in the reflection behind the TV. But it would be nice if this window opened, it would have been a super bonus. I mean, there's no reason yeah. that that window doesn't open. We would have put this down more often if it opened. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is the fireplace. I actually like the new fireplace because they they changed it so this is completely covered in glass. This thing got dirty, spider webs, bugs, and the famous toe kick. Toe now kick. this is like the really edgy toe kick. That I mean, I can't tell you how many times I, this thing nailed me. So good riddance to the toe kick. A nice flat uh, surface slide in the reflection so and it makes it easier to clean under uh, you don't have to clean super clean under the toe kick before you pull in slides i don't think about stuff like that these windows is what sold me on the solitude now i was quite naive at the time i didn't realize 
They're pretty, but not practical. These windows do not open, so I'm not gonna miss them. They open this much. Yes. Our new reflection has cabinets right here, so we don't have quite the windows that we had here, but the breeze is amazing. The slide in this is exactly the same length as the slide in the reflection, approximately the same amount of space in the slide for us to put the up desk and put our home couch, which is why there's a big space right here. Uh, you know, it's leaving without any kind of couch. But, um, you know, the windows in here were awesome. If they were the open style, it would have been amazing. It would have been different. Um, also the carpet. I am so happy to be done with carpet. Yeah, carpet sucks, right? Why, why Especially with I dogs. can't believe in 2017 when they made this, they were still putting carpet in the slides. I, that's crazy. And that looked like this. Yeah, this nasty shag stuff. We forgot how heavy this thing was, but this is in excellent condition because we had this stuff in storage and we put it back inside this RV. Yeah, that's why it looked brand new. Okay, the kitchen is a big one. There were some big changes in the kitchen and the biggest change is the island. This has a much bigger island and a bigger sink than in the reflection. I do miss the space to, you know, put stuff. Leave junk. Yeah, leave junk. I, you know, I, I come in, I just throw my stuff down on top of here. So I'm gonna miss the, the, the bigger island for sure. I actually like the smaller island. They have a lot more like living space over here. This is a 310 GK, so it's grand kitchen. Is it grand? Not really. Yeah, this was an awesome microwave, actually. This is a convection, which we never used the convection. No, we never used it. But this microwave just rocked. It just worked every time. I actually like the new stove. I do miss we had extra counter space here in this one that we don't have in the other one because we have this massive pantry that goes like right here in our new rig. So now this is one of the definite negatives of the solitude. The, the pantry is much smaller, not nearly as deep. So I might get a little fatter having a bigger pantry. Should I, should I slim down a little bit? What do you stop, think? Stop eating those bars. Let's talk about this fridge. I am not, not gonna miss chipping ice off the back of the freezer yeah, we, every, and the fridge. Every three or four months, she had to get in there with the chisels and chisel off four or five inches of ice. Even though we did that little trick where we put saran wrap on the back, which did help, it was still a big hassle. I am kind of going to miss that we could stick our fridge on propane. Yeah. But the new one's 12 volts. So it's well, we'll see how the 12 volt thing works on boondocking. Yeah. But you know what, to be honest with you, this Norco fridge, I was worried when we got it that it wasn't going to keep food cold. And it basically was really cold the whole time we had it. The freezer was just enough for freezing ice cream. And the fridge usually stayed cold. I really had no problem with the fridge. It was awesome. No, I stopped buying ice cream because it wouldn't, it wouldn't stay cold. You Our didn't new stop buying ice cream. You had ice cream. The new freezer does a great job with ice cream. He's the one that yeah. bought the new fridge, like that ice cream is like a rock. It's like you just bought it from the grocery store. And it was always like a little squishy here in the, yes, in the solitude. solitude. Squishy. So maybe it wasn't as great as I squishy, thought it was. Like something squishy, like <laughs> Now we, did you see the island move? That we, we bought this used. If this island is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> no comment. So we bought this used. Uh, it came with a dishwasher, which I thought was silly at the time. We're like, oh, dishwasher. Who has a dishwasher in the army? That's ridiculous. But we've had some stretches where we were in private campgrounds, which we normally don't do. Um, it was when he was sick. And yeah, when you got those full hookups. When this RV is sick, we've been sitting for, for that long. So I am going to kind of miss this. One thing nice about a dishwasher and having a dishwasher is that you don't have as much dish guilt. I've got more dish guilt now because when I dirty the dishes and I see Alice at night cleaning all the dishes before he goes, she goes to bed, I got dish guilt. Guys, do you have dish guilt out there or is that sexist? That one, that's that's sexist. I'm sexist, what can I say? Yes, you are. Two, that's not true because when we boondock dry camp, you still use like three glasses a day. You're like that little girl in signs. It's contaminated. If it's sat up for more than two hours, it's no good. This section is basically called the cough, 
coffee counter, I guess. That's what we call it. That's what we call it. But because the pantry is now on the other side, our coffee counter is all the way over here. So we just basically, that counter space became this counter space. So we kind of equaled out. But I actually kind of like having the long counter here. And believe it or not, we have a sick amount of storage in the reflection right here. The reflection is much deeper here and much longer. And we love that, having that space now. But the funny thing about this, it's called, we call it the coffee thing. I never made coffee over here. I wouldn't make coffee over there. So why do we call this the coffee counter? That's what people call it. I don't know. Do we, why do we call it that? Because everyone else We calls call it Larry's junk counter. That's what it should have been. Hey, Larry's junk Larry's counter. Larry's charger counter, but mostly my junk. Larry finally got me in the shower together. Oh my God, that's right. Wait, funny, we can still do it. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things I am not going to miss is uh, the shower doors, but I solved the whole cleaning glass doors by having a shower curtain. Now we're trying to figure out maybe taking the glass doors out of the reflection and putting in a shower curtain again. This little seat- I used to sit here. I never sat on this, but I kept whacking my legs on it. I'm so and tired. I would sit down in the middle of a shower. I it's, will sit on the ground next time. <laughs> yeah, this shower was, to be honest, it was just too big. I mean, it's it sounds ridiculous, but we have a nice little shower now and it is plenty big. And I, I have to tell you, I think our new bathroom is bigger. One big difference between the solitude and the reflection is the water heater. Now, you know, if you just have a regular water heater in the solitude here, you control with the hot and cold. The thing I like about the tankless system is that you set the temperature on the controller and then you just use the hot and it's steady the whole time. It's pretty awesome. And it's great on hookups. I think it's gonna suck boondocking where this system is much better boondocking i think i am gonna miss my vessel sink it is very heavy but it's it's such a good sink um it seems like the uh, the sink in the reflection it well first of all it's plastic it's not that deep and i feel like every time i use it it splashes all over when the water just kind of stayed in here reflection sink when you put water in it it's like you're putting water into a tupperware it's that plasticky, it's terrible. And the vessel sink is awesome. When we get a house again, when we have a home base, I want a vessel sink. But what I'm not gonna miss in this bathroom is this. The pocket door? You don't like the pocket door? I hated the pocket door. I think I like about the pocket door, it was impossible for you to like lock me out. Larry installed a lock and it still didn't lock. So now we have, a real, we have a real door and it's lockable. And I already had that. It actually made me already put a lock on it. I'm such an idiot. Why would I do that? It's for company. What I am going to miss, even though I don't like a bed slide because of all the issues. The uh, whole east-west bed. Yes. I'm going to miss this. This is, I guess, technically a walk-in closet? It's walked in Okay. My wardrobe closet is like gone. The, the bottom half was pretty much... She went from this this closet to a closet that's about this wide. This whole storage in the back is gone. And that that is what I use this mostly was for storage. But I did get rid of a bunch of clothes, a bunch of stuff. Because I am, I am willing to make sacrifices. And we are called downsizing. You better be making some sacrifices, baby. Where's your sacrifice, dude? I gave up this closet. Now she had yes. this big giant closet. I had this closet. And that is massive compared to the closet that we have now. So I had to go from that to something about this wide and about this tall. And so, so storage seems to be a common theme where we're giving up a lot of storage going from the solitude to the reflection. The other thing about this bedroom Again, the carpet. I'm glad to get rid of the carpet. Um, but I didn't think it would be a big deal. Some people mentioned they don't like the step up um, to get in bed and stuff. I have tripped a couple times because I'm getting used to it. And the bedroom is a lot smaller. So we are kind of going squeak, squeak, squeak by at the end of the bed. But I think I think the small we're getting bedroom used to it. makes so much sense. It yeah. doesn't make any sense. They have a big bedroom in an RV. You're just dragging it around. You're only sleeping in there. You know what I mean? That's it. S sleep <laughs> sleeping. Hopefully you're not just sleeping in there. I was harping on this before, but this is our second AC in the bedroom. 
and this thing just rocks. The controls right here, it's very accurate. It's very easy to control. It just works flawlessly. And we never had a problem with the air conditioners. They just were awesome. And I'm so disappointed with the Furion. Lippert. Uh, Lippert, the Lippert Furion uh, air conditioners in the reflection. We're gonna have to really figure out something to make them work right, because they absolutely suck. Okay, turn it off. You can hear that though. It's definitely hitting. Ruffy is not going to miss this bet because she could not jump up. But in our reflection, she has learned that she can jump up and down it's off the bed. It's a shorter distance to jump yes. up for sure. Which helps us because she's double the size as when we got her. So lifting her up and down every time. Are we that old we can't lift a 17 pound dog? She, well, she's I think not they are, 17. Excellent. Is she 17 pounds? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Scruffy. We need to downsize. I keep going back to storage, but the under the bed storage is awesome in here. This is a nice big under the bed storage and this area under here, which is where that stupid ottoman used to go, which we got rid of almost immediately. Yes, there's a lot of storage, but again, because it's a bed slide, I was paranoid about adding weight. So we only put lightweight oh, stuff. Oh, she wouldn't let me put anything in here that weighed more than a pound because I had wetsuits and a couple of kites. We had empty boxes. Yeah. So because of the weight on the slide. Yeah, you're always worried about that slide. Yeah, because it broke. Yeah, the slide, the Schwintec bedroom slide with the bed in it is a problem. This... Now say that again without the bad words. No freaking way. <laughs> that freaking hurts. Oh my God, my upper back. I have to, I have to, um... Oh. Sensor Larry all Holy the time. Shit. That hurts. See, I actually kind of like it. I don't even want to get up from this. I like this. It feels like my upper back is like hunched like this because it normally sinks in. I know. It's this would kill me. I'd have to be a side sleeper all the time. Let's check her out the side. Go inside. Try it inside. I like it. I mean, there's no pillow. A side I could deal with. Side is not. This is why I said there's no way to land on my back on this. It just is too firm. This ain't tell me. I, I, already, I don't even want to try this. Honey, I didn't even think you would go for this. I'm sorry you even tried it. <laughs> so, props for you at least trying it. <laughs> hey, honey, stay here. I'll try a few new things. <laughs> 40 years! On. One more last time 40. in the solitude. One more time in the solitude. No. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you going to do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm alone on the outside of the grid because Alice didn't want to be part of this one. Storage. Okay, the solitude has got the reflection beat on storage. For one thing, because it's a drop frame, it has a giant, tall basement. It's wider, bigger, taller. Everything about the basement is bigger. So that's a plus for the solitude. The minus for the solitude is that the front clearance is much lower. So going over bumps and things like that, this is way lower to the ground and the whole RV is lower to the ground because it's a drop frame. So that's a minus against the solitude. But you know, me personally, I was fine with the clearance. I'd much rather have the storage. The front basement is the same story. It is massive compared to the storage in the reflection. I mean, look how tall it is in here. I mean, it's, I can like sit in this thing easily. The, the reflection stops at about here. So, you know, the storage that I have for toys and tools and supplies and all that stuff is is massive here in the solitude. So if that's important to you, stick with a drop frame or a solitude instead of a reflection because that is my biggest loss is losing all the space. I've had to give up a lot of stuff. I'm not giving up my mountain biking or my wing foil or my kite boards, but I'm gonna have to give up something but other than that, on the outside of the RV, it's very similar from the solitude to the reflection. It's uh, the reflection is six inches narrower. The one thing I also I miss is a bumper. The reflection does not have like a like a regular bumper. I keep my extra sewer hose in there, so that's going to be a bumper. But a lot of the outside really does make a difference. One 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 thing I really like about the reflection versus the solitude are the jacks. I didn't think I'd like the electric jacks. 
I, th I like the electric jacks way better than the hydraulic jacks. One, the hydraulic jacks can sink, they can make noise, they can do all kinds of weird stuff. Um, so I'm looking forward to just a very simple jack. There's a little bit more movement with the jacks on the um, electrics. But the other thing is that we don't really need six jacks. We got six jacks on the Solitude. I really think that that is unnecessary. Um, four jacks for a rig that's 30 to 35 feet is fine. Um, the other thing, the Solitude's got this really nice uh, Rotaflex pin box. Uh, the, the reflection just has your basic, you know, non-flexing uh, pin box. One other thing is really nice about the Solitude, I keep coming up with stuff with the Solitude, the wet bay, it has a real wet bay, like a, a real separated wet bay with lots of stuff in it, uh, lots of room in it, and it has a built-in filter. Um, this is a really nice wet bay. The reflection is lacking in the wet bay. And again, the pass-through storage is massive here on the Solitude compared to the reflection. So. So I would say that if you, if storage is really important to you, you've got a lot of crap you want to bring with you. One, in the actual storage space, and two, in the weight that you can carry, because the solid two can carry about 3,000 pounds, and the reflection of a similar size carries 2,000 pounds. We're having to lose 1,000 pounds of capacity, and that is hurting we're having to make a lot of changes in what we bring along along the road. So, yeah, definitely missing the solitude. Okay, honey, are you gonna miss the solitude? <laughs> um, people keep asking me that. Um, yes and no. Uh, no rig is perfect, and there are things that I like about this rig and things that I hate is about this rig. Is there a perfect rig? rig? Not unless we build it. We haven't found it yet. Yeah, we want to build the perfect rig. Come on, manufacturers. Tall downsizing makes sense. We'll call no. it the RVDMC rig. Yeah, that's, that's, that's happening. happening. <laughs> now, when I was walking through it, I was starting to feel very nostalgic about all the things that we have done for four years in this rig. All the awesome places. We look out those windows and see a beautiful scenery. We have a lot of great memories here, and this has been a really good rig. For me, you know, going to the reflection is a little bit smaller, but it should be awesome also, but I am gonna miss the solitude for sure. I have to say that these windows took awesome pictures, so I, I, I'll miss that. I know Scruffy will miss uh, the stair treads that we had on both sets. We're gonna have to put the stair treads on the stairs here, not because of Scruffy, but because of me. I have already fallen on my ass a couple of times. His butt. But, but you know, a lot of that has to do with my illness, but making those stairs not so dangerous is something we're gonna have to do. So do you think we're crazy to downsize from the luxury solitude to the not so luxury reflection? Are we going backwards compared to what most people do? Most people like, move up a level that go from the reflection to the solitude. But we did go from the Travado yeah. to the solitude. Size difference is a big size. But we'll see. Yeah, it's I'm gonna miss it though. Okay, do you have a solitude or a reflection? What camp are you in and are we moving in the right direction? Let us know in the comments here or like always you can message me or comment on Instagram and Facebook. Now we're gonna be taking the new rig for a six month trip out west and going crazy and testing out the new reflection. If you don't wanna miss any of those episodes, please think about subscribing by clicking the link below. Hit that notification bell so you're getting notified when we come up with a new video. I'm also gonna leave a link to a playlist of some of our recent crazy stuff that got us here, right over here. And remember, downsizing does make sense. I saw you shaking your head. <laughs>